Let's draw the Lewis structure for O3. This is ozone. So the first thing we want to do with Lewis structures, count the valence electrons. The periodic table can be helpful with that. So we find oxygen right here. Oxygen is in group 16, sometimes called 6A. It has six valence electrons. So we have six times the three oxygen atoms, 18 total valence electrons for the O3 Lewis structure. With Lewis structures, we normally put the least electronegative atom in the center, and hydrogen always goes on the outside. But here we just have oxygen atoms. So let's just put three oxygen atoms in a row. We have a total of 18 valence electrons here. So we're going to put two electrons between the atoms, and that's going to form the chemical bond. So we'll put two here, there's a chemical bond, and then two here. So we used four valence electrons. Remember, we have 18. Now we'll complete the octet on the outside oxygens. We've used 8 plus 8, 16. So we have two more. Put them right here, and now we've used all 18. The problem is the oxygen here in the center, it only has six valence electrons. That's not an octet. And we've used all the valence electrons. What we can do is we can move two electrons from one of the oxygens and share creating a double bond. So now this oxygen still has eight, but the oxygen in the center, that has eight. We have eight here. This is the Lewis structure for O3, ozone. With ozone, we have something called resonance because we could have put the double bond on this side and had a single bond here. So really two ways we could draw it. What happens is that in reality, it's kind of a mix or an average of these two bonds. That would look something like this. So with this structure here, We've averaged that double bond, so we have a one and a half bond for each of these. You'll note also that we have a bent molecular geometry. That's because this lone pair right here, it's pushing these oxygen atoms down, and we get this bent molecular geometry. For ozone, the bond angle right here, about 117 degrees. And the molecular geometry is bent. So that's the Lewis structure for O3 ozone. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.